Doug was, uh, it became a good friend of ours. He was a friend of Dom's um, and he works at Asilia Lodges in, um, in, in Ruaha and, and beyond. Um, so we met Doug one day, he came to join us while he was fishing. Um, he had a bit of off time. Um, Doug worked with the park and um, worked with his bosses at Asilia Lodges to try and put in a fly camp down there. This fly camp that Doug was creating is eventually, uh, hopefully going to be a destination for anglers to come and, and fish the upper parts of the river. Unfortunately, Doug passed away uh, right after this trip, um, but we, you know, feel very fortunate to have, um, you know, met him, spent time with him, hung out around the campfire. So Usangi Wetlands, we had heard a lot about it. It was, it was, it's this new sort of frontier for safari uh, that Doug and the team at Acelia Lodges have been preparing as a destination. So the Usangi region is much wetter even in the dry season, um, and in the wet season, it's basically 100% underwater. Giant birds and cranes and herons uh, were, were taking off, taking flight, uh, zipping and diving all around us. And they basically clouded out the sun. Even in our drives from camp to where we were fishing, you'd see all kinds of wildlife. You know, like nothing you've ever seen before. I think we saw over 20 uh, species of big mammals. And when you get there, it's it's basically just endless trees and kind of forest land and then just marshes that have gone dry. So it becomes kind of a nice grassland in the summer. Just to see, you know, the most remote parts of one of the largest parks of Tanzania. Um, you know, it was amazing. Uh, and then, you know, we turned around this one point and boom, just massive herd of bull elephants, the biggest elephants we had seen by far on the trip. I think that's, you know, why you, you go on safaris like this. Rangers uh, were uh, basically made the trip. Without them, the trip wouldn't have been possible. We uh, ended up becoming pretty close with uh, George and Joanna. Um, they were two great friends of ours. They fished with us for, I think, four or five days. And on the last day of the trip, they came down to camp and we had a huge goat roast. So we got a goat from the village, um, cooked it over the fire. And yeah, you know, it was a great sort of send off um, as we uh, headed off to uh, Dar es Salaam and Lake Amaya the next day.